How's it going, friends? Here we are once again in a new episode, trying to please you and bring topics of your interest. Today, we're going to talk about another letter that Pocha sent to his compadre Licenciado when Pocha was locked up. Let's remember that these letters were used in the trial against Pocha in New York in 2019. And we're going to analyze it part by part, just like we did with the previous letter, to explain what everything said in the letter means. So join me so we can try to decipher together everything the Pocha tells his compadre. And I tell you about deciphering, because honestly, I would have preferred trying to read a letter in Chinese than this letter, because it's too hard to understand Pocha writing. But let's give it a try and do the best we can. Okay, friends. First, I'll read the whole letter to you, and then we'll analyze it paragraph by paragraph. All right, my friends. Before I go on to read the letter, I want to send some greeting to everyone supporting us, and that they are following our channel. I want to start with my friend, Miguel Lopez MP3 Culiacan. Please help and also support on his music channel. He didn't put it here, but... Well, here's his Instagram account. Wesso Lunker 4. Also for my friend, AP150602. For buddy, cap.corona17. Sending greetings to Emiliano Estrada, hoping it's him. Also... A shout out to my buddy Jerry Jerry Jaramillo Corona. A big shout out to my friend who's always keeping an eye on the comments. Luis Point Martinez Point Seven. It says he's keeping an eye to our content from Ciudad Juarez Chihuahua. A big shout out also to my friend Greetings. Also to Fernando Julio. One of the first subscribers of the channel says, Here, we're at your service. A big shout out. A shout-out also to Dylan Angulo, 823. A shout-out to Billy as well, Point zero one. hope I'm saying it right. Also, all the way to Brazil, my friend, a big hello. Also, a greeting from my buddy Diego from Guatemala. A greeting, a shout-out to Alex Romero, 21, thanks for the support. A shout out to Ronaldo Lopez, 8701. A shout out to him. A friend here is also asking for video of Chino on tracks. We are working on that. A shout out to Manuel at Bajo Valencia 360, all the way to Ciudad Obregón. To Rube, 78. And also to Christian Rendon, 93. To Deca Mex. A shout out to Yochi 900 all the way to Miguel Aleman Tamaulipas. Greetings to him as well. A shout out to Jerry from Penasco as well. There are several comments. Thanks a lot to the people who are active on our social media. And also a greeting for for Shinola or for Rayo, there's a shout out to Juan P. Ribera. A shout out to Tito, Ona, and Gyro and to Beto from Tijuana. For ABC Osavan, and also for his brother, the Granados Brothers from Los Mochis, a shout out there too for Los Mochis. A greeting for Asahel Nunez from Torreón, Coahuila. And here my friend High Output 209 says it's his birthday, or his cousin's birthday, I don't understand it very well. Greetings and happy birthday to you or your cousin. Greetings again to Mexicali from my buddy, Jorge E.N.G. A greeting for Camacho06. At your service too, my friend. A shout out to the buddy Pinquillo. We're here too. A shout out. Cheers to my friend Abel Aguilar from Jalisco. A shout out as well to my buddy Aria Francisco from Guasave. A big shout out to everyone in Guasave. A shout out to my buddy Chuy Gonzalez. From Ella Mochila, a shout out to Mochis. I guess that's what you mean. Shout out to Los Mochis. And we're keeping an eye out for something from Isidro and the Beltrans. They'll have their episode too. Sending a shout out to A91730 as well. 
A big shout out to Everquesada. They will also have their Polo Ochoa episode. To my buddy, RSP117. We're pending, please wait. Just have a little patience. A shout out to underscore Carlos08. A shout out to my buddy, G underscore D, A F. You tried to pull one over on me, but a big shout out to you and to Alejandro Bocon as well for PR 20.17. Also, a shout out to my friend Paula who is watching us from the port of Mizatlan. A big hello. Greetings for Albert Morales up to Guerrero. A shout out here too for Dynastia underscore Carrillo. Here's a shout out to that Instagram account. Sending a shout out to Christopher Martinez Llamas from Saltillo, Coahuila too. A shout out to my buddy Keiko from Loma Dorado. For my buddy Ramiro from Los Dos Jefes, so they support his music. Very good. They sound really good. I just listened to their song before recording. Greetings and success in your career. Also for Alvaro Ugaldi. And a shout out to Macias JM, all the way to Quila, a beautiful town. A big hello to everyone in Quila. And for PR and under 20.17. And even to my buddy, before I forget my buddy Christ MP. And with buddies, Christ, Christ. Fader, Martinez, Yamas, all the way to Saltillo, Coahuila. A buddy who's always ready there and always supporting. Here are the greetings. I will soon send more greetings to all the folks. Thank you very much for commenting, for being attentive, and we will continue to read the letter. The letter reads as follows. Compadre, please talk to Poyito. Greetings from me. Tell him to please recommend a collector to tie up to the chef to deliver the 400 kilos he has, and there are 400 more with a friend who was caught along with the pilot sent by Kachimbas. Speak with Kachimbas so that Kachimbas can talk to the pilot's family. They are imprisoned together there with Eduardo. You can send someone to the jail to pick up the materials or find out who they were given to. Do not stop paying Cayo's rent and the one for Conta in Europe. These companies are clean. The deputy knows about it to get them going. The Colocho who was helping me over there with Eduardo ran into problems before I got here. They killed him there in the land of Pollo, and there was a ton left with a cook they call Caballero. He is from a department that borders with Eduardo. That department is called Putumayo. You can see where it is on the internet. Let Paulo send some collectors and pick up that ton. I've chatted with the caballero when I was outside, and the guy I had was killed by the chef to steal the ton. Make sure Polo helps us out with the collector. We shouldn't let this happen. I just got here and people don't want to hand over what's mine and my partners. And for the partners, it's 800 kilograms. To Cosina, just let him know. Their frame trophy from main frame frame. That I'm saying that Don Paco's son will be bringing things little by little. And he will be delivering it to you. I've always managed compadre Cosina like that. They try Cosine before he's saying that Don Paco was the one bringing in stuff so that he would not notice how they arrived. We already know he's trustworthy. But he talks and the snitches are over there. For that reason, it cannot be said how things will arrive. The person who is imprisoned, along with Eduardo, also has 50 bullets of 40 and 5 of RPG-7. The one who knows him well and has been to his house is a pilot who Kachimbas knows where it is. Kachimbas call him Batallaso. 
He hurt his spine on a plane at the beach to make things worse. Rincon has 322 kilos and 443 of 40 and 13 of RPG-7. Pick up everything as you can. Do not let things get stolen. Speak with more Fridas. Assassin. That recommend collectors, the technicians, to see who gets collectors. Over there, collectors charge a 30% or maybe a bit more. That's got to be paid by the debtor when he is already tied up. The crop duster please light it up and flight it so it doesn't spoil. Copy Cesar knows where it is and also Kachimba. On the other hand, I wrote to my comadre from the casino, the woman that Don Pedro has, and I asked her to please make sure Don Pedro gets Chuitonio to respect, and she spoke to Don Pedro right away. And so it was done. She made sure to order Chuitonio to behave properly. Anything to do with Chewy Tonio. Talk to my comadre right away on my behalf and she'll sort out any detail there might be. Oscar is in touch with my comadre and the mother of the twins so that when needed, they can get them in contact with you. All right, compadre, wishing you and your family the best. Say hi to my ahijados and the compadres. Take care, your compadre JGL. All right, friends, I'm going to analyze the letter now. The letter says, Compadre, please talk to Poyito. Send him my regards. Please, ask him to recommend a collector to tie up Chef to make him hand over the 400k. Has it? And there are 400 more with a friend who was arrested along with the pilots that Kachimba sent. Talk to Kachimba so that Kachimba talks to the family of the pilots who are imprisoned together there with Eduardo. Okay. Well, here Pocha asks the licenciado to please talk to Poyito, a very important Okran of Colombia that belongs to Telcar in Cali, so the Colombian can recommend a collector. A collector because obviously, as the word says, it is a person who is dedicated to collecting the bills that the deadbeats cling to, not paying, asks for... Chef was a person who worked with the Pocha over in South America, around Ecuador, and wants him to be tied up to surrender 400 kilograms of blow, and says, there are another 400 kilograms with a person who was caught with the pilots that Kachimba sent. Pocha also asks the licenciado to talk to Kachimbas, so that he can talk to the family members of the pilots who are imprisoned with that person over at Eduardo. As I mentioned in the last letter, it was the code word for Ecuador. And Kachimbas is the personal pilot of Pocha named Hector Ramon Takashima Valenzuela. Here I'm going to show you a photo of Kashimbas. The letter says yes, and you send someone to talk in the jail to deliver the items or to see to whom they were delivered. Do not stop paying the rent for Cayo and for Conta in Europe. Those companies are clean. The congresswoman knows about that to get them going. Here it says that the licenciado sends someone to Ecuador's jail to talk to the one who has the 400 kilos of powder. For them to be delivered, or to say to whom they were delivered. Also, the pocha asks the licenciado not to stop paying Callo's rent, that Callo. It was what they called a person who was on the border between Colombia and Ecuador. And also asks not to stop paying the account in Europe. Because those companies are clean, and the congresswoman knew about it to put them to work. The Kanta was also someone else. Hutafo 
who was in charge to lead some companies over in Europe. And the congresswoman, she was the ex-partner of Pocha Lucero, Guadalupe Sanchez, who testified in the trial against Pocha. Here, I'm going to show you a picture of Lucero. The letter. The colocho who was helping me there with Eduardo had issues before I got here. He was killed back in the land of Pollo, and it was left. A ton was left with a cook they call the Caballero from a department next to Eduardo's. That apartment is called Putumayo. On the internet, you can see where it is. Well, Colocho is easy. It was about a Colombian who was helping the Pocha there in Ecuador, and he had problems before Pocha was imprisoned. The only small issue was that he was resigned back in the land of Pollo. That means they gave him the resignation over there in Colombia. That person was in charge of a ton that would be moved of Pocha from Colombia. A cook called El Caballero had that ton. That's how that cook was known. And it's from a department bordering Ecuador. The name of the department is Putumayo there in Colombia. The Letter Let Pollo send some collectors to pick up that ton. I've chatted with the caballero when I was outside and the boy I had over there. The cook killed him to steal the ton. So please get Pollo to help us with the collector. We must not give up. As soon as I arrived here, people no longer want to hand over what's mine and my partners. And the Colombian partner, Polo, sends collectors to pick up that ton that the cook, Caballero, has. And Pocha said he had messaged the Caballero when Pocha was free. And the guy that Pocha had already in Colombia in charge of moving that ton, Caballero had given him the resignation to steal the merchandise. The Pocha asked the licenciado to tell Pollo to help them with a collector and not to give in just because they caught the Pocha and people no longer want to hand over whether what belonged to him or the partners. In other words, just because they caught the Pocha, people, as I've told you before, quickly start stealing and taking ownership of things that aren't theirs. And also, as I've told you, don't listen to the lies you hear in so many corridos. I mean, just to give an example, the corrido of Pocha, that famous one who says the world stops spinning if Joaquin orders it, just to show you, here I show with evidence. That's completely false. Take note. How does someone just get arrested and people stop respecting them and start stealing from them? So please don't believe to everything that is said in corridos. The letter continues like this. Now, from the partners, there are 800 kilos. For Cosina, just let him know that Don Paco's son will be gradually bringing the stuff over, and he will be delivering to you. That's how I've always handled Cosina, with Don Paco bringing in the stuff so no one would notice how they arrived. We already know he's trustworthy. But he talks, and the snitches are lively. For that reason, one can't say how things will turn out. The Pocha says it's 800 kilograms of the Partiners because... Because it was a ton. And that ton was split among five partners. Now, where's are from? That it was 200 of Pocha. 200 kilograms of Yoma. 200 kilograms from Mauricio. 200 kilograms from Aldo and 200 kilograms from Oscar. That's why he says there were 800 from those four partners. And then he tells the licenciado that to Cosina to let him know that Pocha is saying that Don Paco's son, he's the one who will be bringing the kilos from Colombia to Culiacan little by little to be handed over to the licenciado. Well, just see how he tells the licenciado to handle Yoma. That the kilos were going to be brought by the son of Don Paco. Mr. Paco is a person obviously dedicated to the transportation of goods. But that's not the curious part. The curious part here is that neither Don Paco nor his son moved them. Rather, they were transported in another way. 
But Pocha didn't want his compadre Yoma to know the real way the Loskis came. Well, friends, here ends the first part of this story. Stay tuned for next week to know the second part of the story. Thanks everyone for your support and look forward to more content from your friend Okran. Greetings.